name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Son adventure. Doing what men have done since the dawn of time. Getting away from women, heading off on their own. To see an asteroid, how exciting. Dad, if I wanted to see a ball of ice, I could have gone to the fridge. Uh, look, Merlin's asteroid only comes close to Altor once every 20 years. Trust me, it's really something up close. So you go into Hawk to beef up the hopper so we can make the jump? Well, what else is money for? I don't know. Maybe someday I could see some. Yeah. Well, try looking at that. <laughs> hey, still want to go back to the fridge? Yeah, all right, let's head in for a closer look. Screwy. Well, the Burkhoff radiation surrounding the asteroid just rubs computer functions. You could warn a guy. <laughs> what, spoil our fun? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the side you can't see from Altor. Uh, smooth as space. Who needs an autopilot? I guess they did. Come in, unidentified ship. Repeat, do you copy? I told you, it's a wreck. Come on, Dad, the bay doors are open. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I don't think that's such a hot idea, man. But we came all this way. It'll be fun. Okay. All right. We got air. Okay, Matt, you stay here while I check this out. Dad. Dad. Matt, we play by my rules, or we don't play.
I thought I told you to stay put. I, um, have some questions on those rules. Matt, get back to the hopper. Throttle down, Dad. This isn't a crime scene. It's just an old ship that's been here since the dawn of time. All right, but don't touch anything. Right. Okay, what do we got here? Man. We got enough stored energy here for a round trip to Earth. Think your mother'd mind? Nah. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll never disobey again, I promise, I promise. <laughs> well, your mom's gonna be glad to hear that. I mean, it's not like I've never seen a dead body before. I've seen lots on TV. Uh. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's all right, Matt. He's dead. He's been dead a long time. So what do we do? Well, I don't know. I guess we ought to see if there's any way we can uh, fire up this ship and get it back to Altor. All right, Dad. Taking off for one thing. Think you can land it? No, it's OK, Matt. As soon as we get out of this radiation field, we'll call for assistance. Looks like a homicide. Blaster burn on the chest, no sign of a gun anywhere. Can we ID him? <sighs> Face is pretty well decomposed. That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, the old ones are always a bear to solve. Yeah, well, hopefully we can pass this one on. Traffic's sending out a pilot to meet us. They'll probably roll it straight over to forensics. Hey, Dad, get a load of this. H.I.? Hume's inner space. Well, what do you know? We're on board a Hume's Interspace prototype number SK-90. Better give them a call, see what they got to say. Yeah, you got it. Later. Hume's into space. Maybe you should try calling Alden Humes himself. Oh, yeah, he takes a lot of calls from street cops. He hasn't always been a recluse, you know. Once upon a time, he used to be a playboy jet setter, darling of the tabloids. Totally irresistible to women? Yeah, I guess we do have a lot in common. In your dreams, Haldane. These specs look great. Tell the crew good work and uh, take them all out for a big dinner on me. Thank you, sir. Hang on a minute. Yes, Linda? There's an officer, Hal Dane, calling. He wants to speak with Mr. Humes. Pipe him through. Hello, officer. I'm Doc Jomore, Mr. Humes' right hand. What can I do for you? We found one of your ships on Merlin's asteroid. We thought somebody there might know something about it. <laughs> Really, officer, do you have any idea how many ships Hume's Interspace is manufactured? We supply every sentient race in the galaxy. Well, this is one of your prototypes, SK-90. Oh, well, that is a different matter. Yes, we'd have a record of that. I'll look into it. Uh, you might want to look into one other thing. We found a body on board. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure I follow what you're saying, officer. Was it one of our employees or something? Well, it was one of your prototypes. We thought maybe somebody there could shed some light on it. <laughs> well, naturally, I'll help any way I can. Thanks. We'll get back to you. Incredible. Uh, should we inform Mr. Humes? Well, he's not going to like it. Bad publicity for the company. I'll tell him.
Man, wouldn't you love to see a Nazi's face if I cruised by school in this baby? Well, nobody claims it after 60 days. Well, what's that? I don't know. Some kind of signal coming in, but I can't unscramble it. Must have the wrong number. <laughs> Warning! Warning! This ship will auto destruct in T minus 60 seconds and counting. 59, 58. 55, 54. Computer, override. Computer, override self destruct. Computer! Matt, get to the hopper. Yeah. Do it! 48, 47, 46. Don't open. Come here. Come here. It's okay. We're okay. No ship, no body. Great. Yeah, well, physical evidence tends to be overrated. Yeah, well, somebody didn't think so. The signal that triggered the auto-destruct was no accident. All right, recording. Now, Matt, I want you to remember everything. I just saw what my dad saw. I know, but I want to hear it in your own words. You ever been shot? Once or twice. Well, let me see the scars. Um, maybe later. First, I have to make a report on everything you saw on that ship. You know, whoever did this, I'm going to nail him to the wall. Yeah, but first, you got to have a case. All right. All right, step one. Who knew you found the ship? Had to be you, Haldane. You never did like me. Uh, don't give me any ideas. And you say you clawed the body away when it fell on you? Yeah, I was freaked. I had to get that horrid body off me. Brogan, we may have something. Matt, have you washed your hands since you touched that body? No. Guess I should have. Oh, no, you shouldn't. Hold still, please. You must hold still. Matt told me Claude at the dead man's face. I'm hoping that some of the DNA is still there. Yes. What does that mean? It means that when you pushed him away, some of the skin from his face got under your nails. Whoever blew up the ship didn't destroy all the evidence. You mean I've been walking around with pieces of a dead guy? <laughs> Every cell has a template of the entire body. We can run a DNA sequence on the sample and get some idea of what the guy might have looked like. How long will that take? Oh, five or six hours. Say nine tonight. OK, uh, I'm going to drop you off at home, pal. And uh, you and I are going to go visiting. On the 20th floor. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm your Hume's Interspace Elevator. If you'd like to have a conversation or listen to music, please state a selection. How about silence? Excellent choice, sir. Samuel Johnson said, Silence propagates itself, and the longer talk has been suspended, the more difficult it is to find any while George Elliott's speech may be barren, but it is... <sighs> Talk to death by an elevator. Silence. Next time, music. Officer Haldane. And you are? Brogan. Ah, yes. You were on the ship. 
Officer Haldane told me what happened. Please, come this way. You were right. The SK-90 was one of our ships, a prototype for deep space missions. It was launched 20 years ago. We were supposed to recover it soon after to study its data, but we lost its signal, assumed it had gone off course, drifted out of the course systems. Who was the pilot? It had none. It was on auto program. Did you tell anybody about the discovery? Other than my assistant? No, I don't think so. Did you tell your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Humes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I did. Then we're going to need to speak to him. Oh, no. Not possible. He's a very private man. <laughs> Look, pal. Whoever did this didn't just try to kill me. They tried to kill my son. Now, we can do this easy, or we can do it hard. I'll ask if he'll see you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think you just blew any chance for employment at this company. Mr. Humes. Whoever killed our John Doe most likely cut the ship's signal so it would never be found. But they didn't count on the asteroid ringing it back to Altor. So why didn't they just send an auto-destruct signal 20 years ago? Well, they probably did, but Burkhoff Radiation shut down the ship's computer before the signal got through. Okay. Until Matt and I manually flew the SK-90 out of the asteroid radiation field, it couldn't receive a code. Right. Gentlemen. Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane. This is a pleasure. Sorry, but I never shake hands. That way I avoid getting your germs and you mine. I believe it keeps old age at bay. Well, I'm gonna have to give that a try. You look great for a guy pushing 60. How long you been doing that? You know, I, I don't remember. Uh, please, um, gentlemen, sit down. Joe Moore, refreshments. Uh, nothing for me. I'm on duty. It's just cave mountain water, Lieutenant. It's nothing intoxicating or poisonous. <laughs> oh, come now, gentlemen. We wouldn't be having this conversation unless you suspected me of some terrible crime. Uh, but I was horrified to learn of the narrow escape you and your son had for someone to try to destroy one's family i i always wanted a family but somehow i never had one seems as though it's been nothing but business for years years what would you like to know did you send the signal to destroy the SK-90 or order it to be sent? Uh, Mr. Humes! It's all right, Joe Moore. No. Did you kill the man on board the ship? I've never killed anybody. Did you know who he was? No. And I'm sincerely sorry that all of your evidence was obliterated. Well, luckily for us, it wasn't. Our forensics team has a DNA sample that's going to give us a picture of the victim's face within the next few hours. Wow. That's remarkable what science is capable of. Hmm. Isn't it, Joe Moore? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> is there anything else? No, that'll do it. But we'll get back to you if there is. Yes, of course. Any time, gentlemen. Joe Moore, show them to the elevator. We know the way. Now that we've baited the hook, let's get back to the station and see if we get a bite. Now, here's what I want you to do.
You ever been shot? Once or twice. Let me see the scars. Um, maybe later. What are you First, doing, Haldane? Uh, just you so much. thinking. Thinking? <clears throat> I'm shocked. You're shocked? Don't be redundant. Seriously, Castle. Earlier when you were talking to Matt, questioning him, you mentioned bullet wounds. Was that one or two? That's none of your business. Ooh. You show me yours. I can't believe you met Alden Humes. Orbital Dad, what'd he say? He said he'd like to have a family. <laughs> Where do I go to sign up? Hi. Hey. Uh, you hung up at work? Yeah, something came up. Well, who would have guessed? Say, Dad, think you could uh, front me five credits for new slam ball wheels? I'm a little short this month. It's OK. I'll just drag the gutters for loose change. <laughs> <laughs> We've instilled some fine values in there, boy. Yeah, well, he takes after his father, don't you think? Anyway, listen, I'm on early shift tonight. Uh, Liz is at Charla's, and uh, you and Matt will just have to fend for yourselves. No problem. OK. It was right there. Well, there's nobody here now, and nobody could have got past me. <laughs> well, then how'd he get out of here? <coughs> I'm telling you what I saw. So we're in there in breathers, and this guy is... Standing there like he doesn't have to breathe. Do you know what you're saying? Yeah, I know what it sounds like, but I know what I saw. Lieutenant, we've managed to save the sample. We're now ready to make a rendering of the victim's face. Oh, boy. Now I'm starting to see it. Make it three. So if the body that was found on the ship was Alden Humes, who the hell did we meet this afternoon? Like the man says, it's remarkable what science is capable of these days. You work long hours, gentlemen. Seems you do as well. You have a question for me. Yeah. What'd you have for breakfast? Lieutenant Broken, this is ridiculous. It's a simple question. What'd you have? <laughs> What'd you eat yesterday, or the day before, or for the last 20 years? So what? I, 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 I can't recall. What have you done over the last 20 years except work? Tell me about one friend, one conversation. Have you ever been to a slam ball game? Walked in the rain? I simply can't explain this. No, but I think I can. Joe Moore, what is the meaning of this? It means you're a projection, a computer simulation of the real Alden Humes. No, no, it can't be true. 
You killed Humes all those years ago, then you hit his body on the spacecraft. But you didn't count on the asteroid bringing it back to haunt you. Alden Humes is an eccentric. Everyone knows it. He programmed this simulation himself and is living a reclusive life on day nine. That's your story? It's as good as yours. I, just, I don't understand what's happening. Joe Moore, who am I? You're all that Alden Humes was and knew. Jamor needed that expertise to run the company, keep it on the cutting edge, and do other errands. You don't remember starting the fire in our medical room, do you? No. Jamor programmed you to do that and then uploaded you into the station system. You're nothing but his slave. Whatever the relationship between myself and my employer, I don't have to listen to any more of this. I'm asking you to leave. Let's go home. Oh, um, once word gets out, there's no humans. What do you think is going to happen to this company's stock? See you in the late show, boys. Well, that ought to make them sweat. Yeah, in the meantime, we make a case against him that sticks like a valerian glue dog. <laughs> Ground floor. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm your Hume's interspace elevator. If you'd like Music. to... Music. Certainly, sir. What would you like to hear? How about Sweet Mystery? did what they said, Joe Moore. Don't deny it. Just tell me why. Alden, I think you need to rest. No, Joe Moore! <laughs> You've known me for years. I'm a forgiving soul. Why? You are running the business into the ground with your partying your wild times. What was I supposed to do? There were alternatives. You needed to be controlled. You didn't have to kill me. You turned me into this. Tore me from my life. For what I might have had. <laughs> Ground floor! Ground floor! Good evening. I'm your Hughes Interspace oh, Elevator. Oh, shut up! What would you like to hear, Joe Moore? How about the funeral march? Humes! We can work this out! Yes, that's just what I'm doing. Oh, by the way, you're fired. No! No! I'm free. I guess the bottom sort of dropped out of Jamor's life. Maintenance say the elevator was serviced yesterday. But you don't think this was just a malfunction? No. Humes did this. Humes is dead. He's been dead for 20 years. 
A computer program did this. I've run diagnostics on every computer in this place. If there was a simulation of Alden Humes, he ain't here now. Yeah, well, he's on the loose, and we don't know where. You had a break lately, Brogan. I'm OK. Go home, Lieutenant. Get some rest. How you doing? Lieutenant Brogan, I, I was just telling Matt how much I owed his father. He wants me to make a list of everything I've ever wanted. Orbital, eh, Dad? Go to the harbor, Matt. Why? Where are we going? Do what I say. Go on, Matt. We'll be seeing a lot of each other. Sometimes you can be massively mental. <laughs> nice kid. How'd you get here? Well, with the proper programming, I can appear anywhere. And, Lieutenant, I can program anything. <laughs> let's, oh, let's not talk of trifles. He liberated me. And I'm grateful. All the things I've... I've longed for, I can now have friends, family. I'd like to be part of your family. You killed Jamor, didn't you? Oh, no, no. He killed himself when he disposed of my organic form 20 years ago. I merely dispensed justice, and that's just the beginning. Oh, do, do you have any enemies, Lieutenant? Some criminals you can't convict? See, I can seek them out, delete them. You're gonna have to start with me. Oh, please, there's no need for that. Anyway, we both know it would have no effect. I'm as insubstantial as... <laughs> I was a cloud. I'm... I'm invulnerable. I'm immortal. I'm... I'm God. You're not God. You're not even all than humans. You're some out of control computer image. I was wrong about you. Both you and, and Joe Moore, you want to put me in a cage. Like frightened little men. And I thought you had more humanity, more imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Lieutenant. I'll look after Matt. Forgive the sudden appearance, Matthew. I neglected to tell you I'm somewhat more than meets the eye. Let's talk as we drive, shall we? Where's my dad? Dane. Yeah, bro. Get over here. Humes has Matt. What? Unfortunately, your father couldn't be with us, Matthew. But you see, he's he's not like you and I. No, he 
He doesn't have our sense of adventure. They've had one hell of a head start. Damn, I should have seen it coming. Got it. Rich, have anything you desire. What if I just want to go home? You don't want to disappoint me, Matthew. See, I, I haven't been dealing very well with disappointments. Humes, come in. You talk to me. Dad! Matt? Matt, are you all right? Excuse me. Go home, Brogan. No! Give me my son! This is your doing! Dad! with him now, Matthew. What, my dad? They knocked out our servos. Get me something. Anything. Secondaries aren't responding. Come on. Come on. We belong only to each other. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just you and me. We can go anywhere. Do anything. Tell me about something you've always wanted to do. Some dream. You know, I never did get a good look at that asteroid. Well, that got the old heart started. Where are they going? It's headed towards the asteroid. Smart, man. Very smart. It's, it's truly spectacular. Yeah. Can't we take it closer? The asteroid's radiation is shutting him down. I'm lose, losing control. Slam ball dunk. Matt, can you get control of the ship? I won't let you. No, Dad. Going in. Matt. Activate the passenger escape system. How do I do that? Open the ejector panel and press the release button. Come on, hurry! It won't open. It's stuck. Pull, Matt. Pull hard. It won't open. Go. Go home, Matt. He's okay. Yeah, he's safe. Hang on, Matt. We're coming to get you. Man, that's one ice cube I'll never forget. <laughs> Man, it's kind of funny to think that's Hume's graveyard, not once, but twice. It's a brave thing you did by going up there. Yeah, well, when in doubt, think. Who said that? Gee, Dad, I just did. Oh, so you did. You know all that stuff I wanted when he asked me? All I really wanted was to be here. <laughs> Come here, kid. You know, I wonder how much it'd cost to 
keep mom from finding out what happened. Can't blame a guy for trying. Sleep well, Matt, with no bad dreams, while others walk alone. <laughs> <laughs>